I know that from our very childhood we always remain a bit curious about the topic computer and its virus. So today's topic is computer virus created by the Bosch ship from Manik. So today we are going to learn about what is computer virus, the information of computer virus, the types of computer virus, how it activates a computer virus, what a computer virus does, uh, what are the sources of computer virus, antivirus and then the conclusion. Um, what is a computer virus? A computer virus is a type of computer program that when executed replicates itself by modifying other computer programs and inserting its own code. When this replication succeeds, the affected areas are then said to be infected with a computer virus. A computer virus is a malicious software program loaded onto a user's computer without the user's knowledge and performs malicious actions. It can self-replicate inserting itself onto other programs or files, infecting them in the process. Not all computer viruses are destructive, though. Now what are the informations that we have of computer virus? Now what are the types of malware? Malware is a general name for all the programs that are harmful viruses, trojan, worms and all other similar programs. There are a couple of different types of computer viruses. Most viruses are pretty harmless. The user might not even notice the virus for years. Sometimes viruses might cause random damage to the data files and over a long period they might destroy the files and the disks. These classifications take into account the different ways in which the virus can infect the different parts of a system. Now let's quickly talk about the types of computer viruses. The first one is the time bomb. The second one is the worm. Third, logical bomb. Fourth, micros virus. Fifth, script virus. Sixth, boot sector virus. And the seventh, trojan horse. Now let's discuss each of the types of viruses in details. The first one is the time bomb, a type of computer virus that lies dormant for an amount of time until it finally comes out and causes a computer program to be deleted or freeze. The boot record program loads the operating system in the memory at the startup. We can see from the diagram how it looks like. Now the second worm is the worm. A worm virus is a malicious self-replicating program that can spread throughout a network without human assistance. But worms are not viruses. Viruses need a host computer or operating system. The worm program operates alone, as we can see from the diagram beside. Now what is a logical bomb? A logical bomb is a piece of code intentionally inserted into a software system that will set off a malicious function when specified conditions are met. For a programmer may hide a piece of code that starts deleting such as a salary database trigger should they ever be terminated from the company. Now what do you think when you get the term of micros virus? In a computing terminology, a micros virus is a virus that is written in a micro language, a programming language which is embedded inside a software application. Now what are script viruses? A script virus is any type of malicious code that is executed after a user visits the page that has advertisements, files or code running in the background that contains the malicious code. I hope you all have understood the viruses and its types till now. Now let's move on to the boot sector virus. A boot sector virus is a type of virus that infects the boot sector of floppy disks or the master boot record MBR of the hard disks. Some infect the boot sector of the hard disk instead of the MBR. While the boot sector viruses infect at a biased level, they use DOS commands to spread to other floppy disks. What is a Trojan horse? In the computing software, a Trojan horse or the Trojan is any malware which misleads the users of its true intent 
The term is derived from the ancient Greek story of the deceptive Trojan horse that led to the fall of the city of the Troy. Now we can know that when can the virus get activated in the computer. We are always afraid that the viruses do something harmful to the files when they get active, but not all the viruses activate. So, viruses just spread out, but when the viruses activate, they do very different things, might play a part of melody or play music in the background or even show a picture or the animated picture or even show a text or the format hard disk or do the changes to the files over a longer period of time. The files in a server were corrupted just a bit. So backup copies were taken from the corrupted files. And after they noticed that something was wrong, it was too late to get back the data from the backups. That kind of event is the worst that can happen for the users. Now what a computer virus can actually do? A virus tries to take control over the computer system it has infected at the first opportunity available. It makes the copies of itself and also tries to carry harmful tasks written in its program. This process can happen so quickly that the user is not even aware of the presence of the virus in his or her computer. Let's come to the last part of this PPT which says the sources of the computer virus. We all know that this kind of sources are mainly available from the downloadable programs. For example, when we try to download a game, it sometimes gets infected inside the system and we are unaware of it. Or it can also be a crack software or the email attachments or even the internet. Or even while booting from the CD. Now what is an antivirus? The antivirus software is a program or a set of programs that are designed to prevent, search for, detect and remove the software viruses and other malicious software like worms, trojans, adware and more. The best antivirus softwares are not an antivirus, Mac free antivirus scan, Asper Sky antivirus. Let's come to the conclusion part quickly. There are a lot of viruses in the world and the new viruses are coming up every day. There are new antivirus programs and the techniques developed too. It is good to be aware of the viruses and other malware and it is cheaper to protect your environment from them rather than being sorry. A computer virus is a program that reproduces itself and its mission is to spread out. Most viruses are harmless and some viruses might cause random damage to the data files. I hope you have all understood the video and if there are any queries about the computer and the virus, you can put your comments down in the section below. Thank you.